Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about uh, coterminal angles. And well firstly if we're talking about coterminal angles we need a definition. We ne need to know what it means for angles to be coterminal. And angles are coterminal whenever you whenever the two angles in question end in the same location. So like think of gymnastics or skateboarding or think of just doing a spin where you are right now. Whether you spin and go around one time or go, a, go around a second time, your end location is gonna be the same. Or in other words, spinning 360 degrees or 720 degrees two full revolutions, you're going to have the same terminal point. Therefore, those angle measures are coterminal. So let's, uh, let's think of an another example. What about if we just have some angle, let's call it 30 degrees, and here we can get rid of these up here. So what angle is coterminal with 30 degrees. Well, if we add, if we go fully around the circle from a 30 degree location, if we add a full spin of 360 degrees, we would have be at an angle of 390, but it would terminate in the exact same spot. So 30 and 390 degrees are coterminal. What if we went in the opposite way? What if instead of going in a full revolution, we went backwards from the starting point? 90, 180, 270, plus 60, that's 330. Or in other words, 30 degrees minus 360 degrees is negative 330 degrees and negative 330 and 30 are also coterminal. They end in the same position. Okay, so let's let's go do some examples. So if I ask for what are a positive and a negative example of a coterminal angle for 45 degrees, what would you say? And I see that I'm having a, a crazy glare on my face from the sun right now, so I'm just going to turn off my camera. Okay, so if we want a positive coterminal value, we can just add 360 degrees to 45, and we will get 405. So 45 degrees and 405 degrees are coterminal. If we wanted a negative value, we could take 45 degrees and subtract 360 degrees. And if we did that, then what would we have? Well, we would have negative 315 degrees. So negative 315 and 45 degrees and 405 degrees, they are all coterminal angles. Here, let's solve another one. 150 degrees. What is a coterminal angle for this value? Well, again, we can just simply add 360 degrees. We can add a full revolution. And our outcome would be what? It would be 510 degrees. Therefore, 510 and negative 150 are coterminal. And if we wanted a negative value as well, we could subtract the two. Or <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I was thinking positive 150. 
here I made a little error. So let's subtract the two. Or let's add the two. I keep misspeaking. So this is 210. 210. We all make mistakes, but it's important that we catch them. So here we go. So 210 and negative 150 are coterminal. And if we want another negative value, negative 150 minus 360 is what value in this is the negative 510 degrees. There's that value. There's the 510. So negative 510, 210, and negative 150 are all coterminal with each other. Now, this phenomena isn't just with degrees. It's, of course, also with radians. Again, remember that we can measure our unit circle in radians or degrees. So if we're looking at our unit circle, and what do we know? We know that one full revolution is 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. Therefore, if we are in radians, if radians is our unit, we could add or subtract 2 pi in order to have a coterminal value. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's say we are at pi over 6 and we want a coterminal value. Well, we're going to add 2 pi as a full revolution of our circle is 2 pi. Therefore, let's find a common denominator. Let's change it from 2 pi to 12 pi over 6. And we can add them together to get 13 pi over 6. So 13 pi over 6 and pi over 6 are coterminal. Let's also subtract in order to find a negative value. So minus 12 pi over 6. And this will give us negative 11 pi over 6. So all three of these values are coterminal. Let's try another one. Let's change color just for fun. Let's change it. Let's say, let's, what if we start at negative 2 pi over 3? And we want a, a positive and a negative coterminal value. Well, again, we can add 2 pi. If we want a common denominator, let's change this 2 pi to 6 pi over 3. Negative 2 pi plus 6 pi is positive 4 pi over 3. And then let's also subtract the 6 pi over 3 to get negative 8 pi over 3. There we go. There's an yet another coterminal value. So also, instead of just finding a coterminal point, sometimes you're asked if two angles are coterminal. So what if we were given something like angle 40, 40 degree angle, and 400 degree angle? What would be a quick way to determine if these two angles are coterminal? Well, the simplest way to determine if two angles are coterminal is to subtract them from one another. So 400 minus 40. Now, it doesn't so much matter if you do biggest from smallest or smallest from biggest, but I just like doing biggest from smallest. This equals 360. And if this value is a multiple of 360 degrees, of 360, then the two angles in question are coterminal. So yes, 400 degrees and 40 degrees are coterminal because their difference is a multiple of 360. 
Let's try another example. What about the two angles 200 and negative 520? Are these two angles coterminal? Well, again, we can find the difference between the two. We can do 200 minus negative 520. Now subtracting a negative is just like adding. So this is 200 plus 520, which is 720. And 720 is 2 times 360. So 720 is a multiple of 360. Therefore, 200 degrees and negative 520 degrees are coterminal. Let's check this out with the radians. How would this work for radians? Well, if we had pi over 9 radians and we had, let's say, negative 35 pi over 9 and we wanted to know if these two were coterminal, what would we do? Well, it would be the exact same idea. We would subtract the two from one another. So pi over 9 minus negative 35 pi over 9. What does that equal? Well, subtracting the negative is like adding. So this is equivalent to 36 pi over 9. And 36 pi over 9 simplifies to 4 pi. And notice how 4 pi is a multiple of 2 pi. And just like how we were looking for multiples of 360 whenever we were dealing with degrees, whenever we're dealing with radians, if the difference is a multiple of 2 pi, or in other words, one full revolution, then that means the two values in question, so in this case, pi over 9 and negative 35 pi over 9, if their difference is a multiple of 2 pi, then the two values are coterminal. So these two values are coterminal. Let's try another one. What if we have 5 pi over 6 and negative 5 pi over 2. Well, we would go to subtract the two values. We would have 5 pi over 6 minus negative 5 pi over 2. We would look to get a common denominator. And we would notice that we're subtracting a negative, so we could change it to adding. So we would have 5 pi over 6 plus, we can multiply both the top and bottom by 3 to get 15 pi over 6. And once we add it, add the two together, what do we have? We have 20 pi over 6, which simplifies down to 10 pi over 3. However, 10 pi over 3 is not a multiple of 2 pi. Therefore, our two radians in question are not coterminal. Okay. Lastly, what if we have a mix of the two? What if we're given an angle measure in degrees and an angle measure and radians, and we're asked if these two are coterminal. What can we do? Well, the best thing to do would be to convert one or the other to the other, and then follow the same process. So for this one, I'll convert 180 degrees into radians. 180 degrees is simply pi radians. So the question becomes, is pi and negative 3 pi coterminal. So we can subtract the two. 
we can see that this output will be 4 pi and we know that 4 pi is a multiple of 2 pi therefore 180 degrees and negative 3 pi are coterminal here let's go the other way for this last one the question is is 225 degrees and negative 3 pi over 4 radians are these coterminal so let's start by converting negative 3 pi over 4 to degrees we can do this by multiplying by 180 degrees over pi as this is a common ratio and whenever we do this our pi's cancel out notice how 180 is 45 times 4 and so the 4's can cancel out and we are left with 45 times 3 which is 135 so negative 3 pi over 4 is negative 135 degrees So now the question becomes, are the angles 225 and negative 135 coterminal? Again, we can subtract the two values. We can see we're subtracting a negative, so we'll just add the two and get that 225 plus 135 equals 360 degrees 360 is clearly a multiple of 360 therefore the two values 225 degrees and negative 3 pi over 4 radians are coterminal if you found this video helpful let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one